Washington Times front page for Thursday, October 7, 2021. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Democrats have accepted an offer from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for a short-term suspension of the debt ceiling, delaying a showdown on the issue until December. Congressional reporter Harris Alec reports McConnell specified his proposal was contingent on a Democratic agreement that long-term action to raise the debt ceiling would be included in a budget reconciliation deal. That process allows specific spending and tax measures to avert the Senate's 60-vote filibuster threshold and pass with a simple majority. McConnell agreed to the proposal amid talks that Democrats were considering carving out an exception to the filibuster to pass a debt ceiling hike. Senate Democrats said they support the two-month suspension, but using reconciliation for a long-term debt ceiling fix is off the table. Staying on Capitol Hill, Vice President Kamala Harris has been mostly missing during the spending talks, raising questions about her role in the Biden White House. Seth McLaughlin reports Harris's lack of public engagement in the negotiations has fed concerns about her first year in office. Many Democrats are waiting for her to play a more transformative role and cement herself as a successor to President Biden. The vice president's favorables took a hit after the president tasked her with addressing the root causes of migration to the U.S.-Mexico border and overseeing his push to deliver aid to Central American countries. Congress sent $123 billion to help schools reopen and recover from the pandemic. But with few limits on how the funding can be spent, the Associated Press found that some districts have used large portions to cover athletics projects they couldn't previously afford. Critics say it violates the intent of the legislation, which was meant to help students catch up on learning after months of remote schooling. But many schools argue the project supports students' physical and mental health, one of the objectives allowed by the federal government. The funding is part of the American Rescue Plan signed in March, which gave larger shares of funding to schools in areas with higher poverty. In some parts of the country, exercise equipment companies have tried to capitalize, contacting school coaches and superintendents to suggest upgrades. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. Don't have access to the Times yet? Visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George and get 25% off your annual subscription. The Marine Corps is moving ahead with plans to court-martial Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller for his outspoken and viral criticisms of how military leaders handled the Afghanistan withdrawal. Mike Glenn reports the Corps confirmed the prosecutors will lay out six charges next week when Scheller's trial begins inside a courtroom at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. Among the charges he's accused of, contempt toward officials, dereliction of duty, and conduct on becoming an officer. Scheller criticized government and military leaders on social media over the summer on the nation's Afghanistan policies. In foreign affairs, an Iranian dissident group says Iran has ramped up its drone manufacturing operation and is now smuggling increasingly sophisticated drones to allied militant groups around the Middle East. National security team leader Guy Taylor reports the National Council of Resistance of Iran says the country has eight drone development complexes. The resistance group has critics and followers in various countries and is known for openly supporting regime change in Iran. Their claims are not immediately verifiable. Reports of drone strikes carried out by Iranian forces or proxies in recent months often have been vague and difficult to confirm. An attack in July targeted an Israeli-linked British tanker in the Arabian Sea. And finally, a study from Arizona Christian University says U.S. adults are increasingly rejecting traditional morality, especially millennials. Sean Saleh reports millennials are most likely to agree that God either does not exist or cannot be known, and that there are no moral absolutes beyond what individuals determine for themselves. The results of the poll reflect those of other surveys. An October 2020 YouGov poll found that 26% of Americans supported the gradual elimination of the capitalist system in favor of a more socialist system. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or the Washington Times app. And follow us for free on all of your favorite podcast platforms. Just search Washington Times. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.